representing our national officials for this match. First referee, Mr. Bobby Celso. Second referee, Miss Joy De Imus. Let's call on our starting lineup from our Cream Line Cool Smashers. Let's begin with our team captain. She wears jersey number two, Eliza Valdez. At number one, Kyle Angela Negrito. Wearing jersey number five, Risa Sato. At number six, Janet Panaga. Wearing jersey number seven, Michelle Teresa Gumabao. And at number 23, Jessica Margaret Galanza. Starting libero is number eight, Jarella Marie De Jesus. Head coach, Mr. Sherwin Meneses. Calling on our Petrogas Angels. Let's begin with jersey number two, Janelle Welch Cheng. At number five, Gretchel Soltones. Wearing jersey number eight, Isa Pontilias. At number nine, Mary Remy Joy Palma. Number 16, Rania Musa. And number 20, Jonna Sabete. Starting libero is number 22, Baby Love Barbon. And head coach, Mr. Timothy Timmy Santa Tomas. This match is under the supervision and regulation of the Games and Amusements Board. Here are your starters. Start a new way to watch a PVL via Filipinas Live app for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for 149 pesos. And Eliza Valdez makes it back to the starting lineup. While the Petrogas Angels, Rania Musa will be in the middle. And the number two blocker of... Uh, of the conference, Jonas Sabete right there, Baby Love, Barbon, and the usual suspects, as they say, for Petrogas Angels. Two teams that know each other so well already. Well, the reason why also we talked about it in the pre-game, that uh, this is a big game, a very crucial one, one with a lot of intensity because uh, these are both teams with uh, veterans, with experienced players, so yeah. it will just be a matter of consistently and uh, executing. Yeah, you, and I like that you said that, uh, Ayel, because when Petrogas and Dreamline meet, hindi na yung... Wala nang kaba, no. hindi na yung who's gonna be jittery or this is just execution or breaks of the game or paluhan or depensahan. Teams has already proved that, that they're mentally resilient yeah. and overcame uh, a lot of high pressure games yeah. already. The crowd doesn't matter anymore whether you know it's for them or against them. So it's uh, who really is going to win it. That's what happens when these two teams meet. Pontillas, perplexing to the blockers. Well, just a veteran <laughs> with a steady presence from start to finish. Same composure, yeah. same demeanor. And the reason why I use the word really, of all the years that she's been playing, you still cannot completely blank her. That's true. She still gets away with a lot of stuff. Palma, that's too soft. Well, trying to activate Palma early on this game, and that's uh, going to be important also for both teams, activating their middles, creating those spaces and the blocking. Fifth bless, uh, the best blocker in the league, that's Panaga, denying Remy Palma entry, and she serves. Sabete. Michelle. That is a check. Jaime Escalon uh, brings, uh, we bring him back from Portside. Jaime, go ahead. 
Bumenayal, a break from being teammates but not as friends. Rania Musa and Janelle Cheng shared to me how, despite their busy schedules, they would remain to share a meal at least once a month to catch up. And Rania actually credits their chemistry to their off-court best friendship. Isang tingin na lang naman, alam na namin kailangan gawin. She also jokes nung una, saling pusa lang naman siya sa high school berkada. Turn teammates ni Janelle na from saling pusa to best friends to teammates. The next friendship goal is a championship for these two. Now don't forget to download the Filipinas Live app for as low as 149 pesos a month. Bumenayal? No question. When you go back a long way, pag naglaro kayo, parang natagal na kayong magkasama. It's, it's always like that. Oh, exactly. And uh, that game of Petrogas against F2 Logistics was definitely the proof. Yeah. As uh, Rania Musa actually was the player of the game. 11 points in, uh, right, in that third set, if I'm not mistaken. 16 all in all. And that thing, uh, CSB partners. And Rania Musa also uh, stepping up big as uh, they lost MJ Phillips' yes. this conference. So, so he's a crucial role. Filling up. That drops out. Remy says that's in. And our first challenge. Happy birthday, Coach Bo Bala. Celebrated recently also. Happy birthday. Okay. Our uh, first uh, challenge of this match. Well, so far, we're seeing both teams really trying to serve hard. Remy Palma was quite sure. And then now she's praying, please <laughs> down. <laughs> now, wala yung pagkasure niya. Ang layo pala. <laughs> it's hard from her angle because she's on the other side. So, wait up nga in fairness to her. Three will be serving four. Big game here for the undefeated Greenline Cool Smashers, who got a lot of rest. Petrogas Angels also who looked a little gassed uh, against their Cherry Tigo opponents the last time out when they lost that one in four sets. Got some ample rest also. Galing pa sila na Ilocos, di ba? Ayun, so... A lot of out of town games. Yes. For this Petrogas Angels. What a serve. What a dive by Baby Love. Jonah goes cross. Arda was there. Eliza. Back set. So far, it has been Isa Isa with Delia scoring for the Petrogas Angels. I do lang lahat. <laughs> Three points. Trying without reverse set. Uh, and again, classic Isa Isa with Delia knowing what to do, knowing how to score. And knowing that she's going to do it, and yet you can't stop it. Exactly. Oh, Sato is rejected. Eliza tips it. Good job. By the best friends <laughs> and their connection. Best friends connecting. You know, back quick. Also, I think, and maybe not by age. I said this in a previous game, and people might have gotten it the wrong way. Maybe not by age, but Rania also invigorates this team you know, because she's she hasn't had a lot of pvl experience diba? i mean she's been through teams but not a lot of court time so she's technically fresh exactly. you know and you know rania Musa has uh, really that positive energy true you know, that impacts her team speaking of that's something you could say about Liza valdez with her teams too always positive and always contagious Yes, uh, guarded in it down the line. Ooh, look at that. Cross court. Look at that angle. So back to Rania. It, it's parang may youthful vigor. Eh, di ba na dinadala siya? Even if she's not as young as the others also. I mean, kasabayan nila. Pero... Just as a player, Rania Musa is a very intense. Right, right, I had the right. chance to be teammates with her when mm. I was playing Signal. Yeah, that's right, because she's former Signal. So she really brings in you know, not just the skills, but also that positive energy. Alam ko na yung nahanap ko word. Wala siya ng milyahe, the mileage on her body as some of the others like Aiza, diba, and Janelle, Chisa, and, and she plays like that. 
Alice Abete. We haven't even talked about her that much yet. Eight serving five. Lisa with a perfect pass, which sets up the perfect swing from the Laguna native. Team like trying to speed things up, beating the blockers there. Gemma Galanza taking advantage of that loose block of the Pedregas Angels. Off system. Negrito will shoot it to the other side. Soltones was there. Cheng back to Soltones in the middle. The swipe goes back. Busa and Cheng miscommunicating there. Gemma. Strong, strong swing. Hit out for Gemma Galanza. Gemma Galanza knew that she was being guarded using the blockers to score that point in the previous sequence. Chase by Cheng. High hands for Soltones. Same for Gemma. Cheng will go back to Gretzel. Gretzel will go back to the cross court. A lot of uh, power exchanges here. Soltones uh, choosing cross court also. Avoiding the blockers there. By the way, can we just mention, since we talked about the thrilling game that preceded this one between Cherry and Nexlet, we send our prayers to Ivy Hernandez. It's the one blemish in that game as she went down earlier and hopefully. You know, we saw her back at the stands, no? and, and smiling and laughing, and hopefully that's a good sign for her. Mitch rolls it over. Gretel. Remy gets one point back. A great decision for Chen to uh, give Remy Palma that knee quick this time. Uh, both players with her, but the loose block by Gemma Galanza. Sent back by Remy on the way down. Barbon was there to take it. Oh, what coverage by Fajardo. And it is Michelle. And her efficiency once again, breaking up that play. I assume partner, we're gonna see a lot of this block touches of attackers using the hands of their blockers to score a point because both teams are really good in the net defense. Go! Out for Gemma. But we're seeing Green Line really trying to use their service as an attack. As always. Mm -hmm. Strong for Gemma Galanza that time. Alisa, De Jesus, and Galanza ready to receive. De Jesus gets it. Reverse to Michelle, and again. Challenging the second best blocker of the league so far. Michelle Gumaba targeting, using the hands of Sabete. So comfortable here in this right pin, too. Panaga with a sharp serve. Sabete receiving. Pontillas again for the second time. Long ball. So far, Pedro that's not getting a lot of good first balls, but Cheng finding ways to set up the wings. And again, that flick of that wrist. Pontillas. Pag pumitik talaga itong kaliwang kamay ni, ni Madam eh. <laughs> <laughs> Galanza. The shell goes long and it's there there is a parrot check. There you go. 
Kaiser Dumago is not even avoiding the blockers. Sado raw mataas tumalun sa bete. Eto, pinakita. De Jesus and Galanza right in the middle of those girls. And it is 13-11. It is Petrogas ahead, courtesy of the high-flying Jonas Sabete. Experience a new way to feel the heart of volleyball. Watch every set, spike, dig, and block live and in high definition, on demand, anytime, anywhere, and on any device via Pilipinas Live app. Download and register now. Boom Gonzalez, Ayel Estanero. For this fourth game, third game earlier, Cherry winning over Next Led, PLDT winning also over Galleries, High Risers. We started off with F2 winning against Jur 4. That's how our day has gone on. This is match number 34. On day 12, Rania still... Yeah, actually, now that I think about it, when he heard that he's Eliza, he's Rania, he's still in college. He's still in college. And also still playing like they're in college. You know why? Because they love their jobs, Ayel. They love their jobs. They're playing the game that they love. And we love them for it. And Aiza will get us going for this rally. 13-11. Bobby Celso gives her the go signal. Comes up short. Tindi rin ang coaching staff ni Coach Tim, you know? Ganda nung hatid ni Barbon! Wow! I thought Jonah was on top of the ball, what she actually was. Baka nga, too high! She was actually on top of the ball, but she was trying to go sharp. Too sharp. Too sharp in that previous sequence. Two straight points. The cream line tying the match. Barbon again, being challenged by Eliza. Speaking of sharp angles, special via the house. Gemma Galanza. With a better execution there. Oh, it's a better with a good touch, yeah. but the, oh, no support in that second ball. Man, we got some high flyers today, <laughs> don't we? Negrito will open up. Coverage by Sabete. Oh, that's so smart. <laughs> so smart. Janelle oh, Cheng always with perfect timing with her one-two plays. Can't teach that. <laughs> Can't teach that. Let's go back to Jaime Escalon now. Bumenayel, you've been mentioning some exceptional digging from Baby Love Barbon, who told me a story how this conference is a big break for her, which is to be in a really good team and given so much trust. You know, when she was in high school, she lost all her confidence playing volleyball, sabi niya sa akin, but one thing changed her life, finding a home in beach volleyball, and that is where she found her confidence, in which until today she represents through her ha hairstyle. Bumenayel? And she's doing such a great job for this uh, team, uh, Jaime. There she is again, a great dig 
Sets up Sultanes here. Negrito takes a look at the defense. The push. Long rally. Sabete rolls it to the other side. De Jesus able to pick it up. Chance for Petrogas here. Kapos yung running attack. Sagot ni Gemma. Bumalik. Negrito again. Longest rally of the match so far. And it's still alive. Unbelievable. And Gemma Galanza finishes the rally. Laban two points of volleyball. Laba. Just a perfect example of a great volleyball there, partner. Great exchanges. That's what we expected, Ayel. This is what we expect from these two teams. Championship level volleyball. And both teams just really trying to outsmart each other here. Oh, Mitch was wise to it this time. Gemma sends it back for the two-point lead. Gemma Galanza is on fire in this game. Di pa nga niya gusto yung set na yun. That's not her type, yung ganun kalapit. But you see, she didn't really like swing. Pinitik lang ng konti para pumunta sa ligod. What a pick up there by Creamline. Somebody touched the net. Oh, it was Rania who touched the net. Dina Ibawi yung kamay. Three-point lead, so I think they're going to call the timeout here, Ayel. All out of breath from the sequences. That's the scrape right after. This was a 13-11 Petrogas lead during the technical timeout and a 6-1 run by that team. Punctuated by a ton of long rallies. And a lot of Gemma Galanza points also. Galanza, five points on five attacks for her. Sato will get us going for this rally after that Petrogas timeout. Oh, that's a high ball. Sato with a dig. Sabete with her own. And Sultanas will safely get a free ball to Green Line. Oof. Panaga with a push. Cheng will go back to Gretzel. Delayed by the block. Negrito to Galanza with a swipe. Aiza unable to keep it up. You know, in the pace of the cream line pool smashers and their offense is really challenging the defense of the Petragas Angels right now. 7-1 run. Soltones on top. Ooh, collision between Sato and Galanza. <laughs> and a campfire on the other end. Stops the run. A much needed point there by the Petrogas Angels. They don't want a big gap here. Very, very smart getting off the left hand of Gemma. Two straight points by Petrogas. Time got better first ball. Chen got to activate the middles. But Sherwin is the one who calls time this time. Para tayo magmadali rin na magmadali, okay? So what time do you see? Pero hindi naman kayo nag-block eh. 
magbigay ng bola na rin. Okay ma, nakawakan mo so kung pala magbablock. Alas po. Timeout by Coach Sherwin. Instructions for the six supreme line. A few instructions about their net and floor defense. No panic on either side after runs. They know they're always in the ball game. Fertilia saw that coming. Gemma again had to adjust. Desus with coverage. Oh, and it is Mitch Kumaba who always finds those <laughs> odd spots in between players. Kumaba with that heavy hands there. Heavy hands. Just the risk action but with a lot of power. Five points on four attacks. She's always had heavy hands ever since. out for Kyle. Have you been trying to target Barbon here? The new addition, <laughs> her and uh, Rania Musa. But going back to Jaime's report you know, about uh, Barbon, how lucky are you to be, diba, you, you inherit Sian mm -hmm. Cruz's position and exactly. then you're in a team like this right away. Competing ka right away as a title contender, Kagan. That's a fortunate spot for people like Musa and Barbon. Oh, but uh, both players uh, are lucky to be part of Petrogas, but Petrogas also lucky to have an, an addition as a stable middle and a reliable libero in Barbon. Barbon keeps it in play. Gretzel out of system again. De Jesus. Kumabao, Barbon solid on the dig. Ooh, what a set! <laughs> Some wizardry from Cheng here. 19 all, Gavin Ganun lang. Oh, great big there by Barbon. Janelle <laughs> Cheng just really trying to look for Maiso Pontilias. Oh, ho, ho. Soltanes pounds the pavement. Can't give an overpass to Soltanes. So she will definitely hammer that one. And all of a sudden, they take over the lead. 4 0 run. That is in. Kumabang. Gumaba with some uh, help from the net. So Ton is uh, letting that go in that last second. Wishing, blowing the ball <laughs> out. Bakas <laughs> ngaling lumabas. Oh, that's sharp, but it's out. Remy says it's a check. <laughs> she looks confident. Again. Now she, she looked at the coach Timmy right away. Yeah. Really trying to convince them, call this challenge. <laughs> she was uh, confident also about the serve earlier, which did not land. So let's see if this time. Tumama naman para sa kanya. A crucial challenge for them here. Crucial, crucial to, oh. Not Seven. just in the points, but also this is their last challenge yep. in this set. 7-1 run by Creamline. And then a 4-0 answer by Petrogas. Oh. No. She was sure of it. Close call. Very close. So that means... Creamline takes over the lead again. Sails out for Galanza. 
and there's one department that they're struggling today it's on that service line but only because they're trying to serve strong Valdez with the receive rebound here Cool Smashers with a challenge here of a net touch. Interesting. Did you see anything, part two? I didn't see anything, but I saw Remy Palma admitting to the mistake. <laughs> <laughs> no, but sometimes the camera sees uh, something else. And the coaches too, apparently. <laughs> <clears throat> so, another challenge here, and if Streamline is successful, they get the two-point lead. Forearm. <laughs> and pa, pala, tama. Wow. Now, while Remy Palma was trying to Interesting. close the gap, didn't get the best control with her momentum. Mm, while well, she was sliding, you know. Mm. So that means they got a two-point lead here, 22-20, as Rose Vargas will come in. Check that, 22-21. Barbon. Pontillas is sent back. Nobody holds. There are times that you can get her. It's not a hundred percent, but when you do it, I'm sure it feels so satisfyingly good yeah. if you're a blocker. Definitely Sato Sanos in the perfect angle to close that cross-court attack. Two-point lead. Pinabawe. Classic fashion. Get her back. Down one. As expected. Greenline and Petrogas dragging each other to the end of the sets. Or this set, rather. <laughs> Mitch. Revy could not handle the power. Calnegrito will definitely go. Her number one scorer in Michelle Gumabao going down the line there, Remy Palma. Imagine this for 24 22. And we haven't even talked about Dots Carlos yet, the three time MVP. Who's in the ball game for Michelle Nalunod. And that means Cream Line takes set number one 25 22. Here at the Phil Sports Arena. Fourth game of our four game set. rather also await via the Filipinos live app available for Filipinos everywhere download and subscribe now for 149 pesos green line moving stronger at the end game 25 22 of that first set 7-1 run to get the lead from the technical timeout 4-0 run by Petrogas to get the lead for green line 
and then a finishing kick and a couple of crucial errors uh, the Petrogas had spelled the difference. Exactly, but what worked really well for the Cream Line Post Masters was their fast low sets, really tried to speed things up, tried to challenge the net and floor defense of the Petrogas Angels. And again, Petrogas is a number one blocking team, but let's not forget as Cream Line is the number one spiking team, as we mentioned earlier, so offensively, they were really on point in that first set as uh, surprisingly Petrogas actually with uh, more attack points with 16 against uh, the 13 of the cream line cool smashers but uh, the cool smashers really tried to challenge uh, their uh, net defense there uh, cream line also doing better in blocking with two non for petrogas surprisingly as they are the number one blocking team two aces for petrogas non for cream line but uh, really the Big errors number, yeah. of uh, petrogas was uh, did really hurt them in that first that, set that, that error line usually we see it in the reverse if they win a set still with 10 errors, sometimes they can win sets even with 10 errors. But if you're Petrogas, you cannot commit 10 errors. And clean volleyball for Dreamline, only committing four of their own to take set number one. But this is a long haul game. Not yet over here at the Field Sports Arena. Coming off a loss are the Petrogas Angels against Cherry Tigo, who won earlier today in exciting fashion against Next Led Chameleons. What a game, by the way. We keep referring to that game because that was truly exciting. Yeah. And this one is our nightcap. Dreamline takes point number one of set number two. Sabete receiving. Oh, what a what a pass by Cheng and what a hit by Remy. And uh, we've seen that also in the first set. Every time they get the first ball, good first ball, Cheng really trying to activate the middles. Uh, this time Remy Palma with a tip. That is not an easy set. To attack, eh? if you, kung hindi niyo ginagawa ng magdalas yan, pakahirap na, napakabilis. It's all connection there between Cheng and Remy Palma. Petrogas taking over the lead. Negrito, sa gitna, Galanza flying in as we pass it over to Jaime Escalon. Boom and Ayala, you know, we already talked about a duo there in the first set. Let's talk about a dynamic duo here in the second set, talking about Mitch Gumabao and Kyle Negrito. You know, Mitch told me that their chemistry was originated in the crucial substitutions in their Invitational Conference. Mitch mentioned that in these unique situations we were put through where we got close, situations where Cream Line would be down a set and we'd look at each other and say, okay, ready na tayo. You know, pressure makes diamonds and experiencing pressure together created a diamond of a duo. Continue to watch this duo on the Filipinas Live app for 149 pesos a month. Bumenel? Uh, to, provide, to provide context to what Jaime was uh, talking about, they were the ones coming in in the double substitutions that Coach Sherwin would put in. It is Kyle and Michelle, and sometimes it's for one or two plays only, and they would get one or two points <laughs> from, from that substitution, come out, and sometimes we'll see them again, sometimes you won't, but... You know, they've always been uh, up to the task, and now they're both starting. You know, also, for additional context in that, the, the double sub, it mostly happens when it's crucial, when Towards your team end. is yeah. down. Now, the reason why they, their partnership grew as a, a very resilient partnership as well. Mitch. And Sabete, the second best blocker. Sabete this time with a better timing. Against Michelle Gumabao. I mean, think about the girls that she's with there. And really, you know, you have Laxina, Madrigal, Esperos, Panaga, Davison is there. And then you have Rondina and <laughs> Sabete <laughs> in the top 10 of blocking. Sabete being number two, Rondina is number six. The board, by the way, is also in the top 10. But then again, you know. 
she does have long arms and all that, but Sabete and Rondina being in the top 10 of blocking, that's that's amazing. And also timing is everything, as we saw that earlier. Helps that they have a little uh, elevation. Conte, mm -hmm. lang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this hit there. 5-4, Petrogas Angels. You're watching us on One Sports. And free to air, of course, One Sports Plus in high definition. And all over the world, we greet all the volleyball fans globally via the Pilipinas Live app. That snatches and scratches the line. Oh, and again, those fast low sets, the speed of the offense of the cream line really beating the blockers of the Petragas Angels. Five ball. Too sharp, too low. Sergeant trying to serve strong there. One thing that Michelle is also, that is not a tangible thing other than the skill, she's a very, very proud um, volleyball player. So even in the short stints that she would have back then, she, she wants to make it a point that she does something productive because yes. she, it's her pride there. Eh? And the very competitive yeah, one as yeah. well. That's, a, that's actually a better word to use, <laughs> Ayel. That the pride comes from her competitive side. I think Gia was the one who told me, when you're in cream line, you have to be competitive. competitive. Yeah. <laughs> Against each other, I mean, sila sila mismo. <laughs> Saltones! Bantayada, Bantayada ni De Jesus. Rania reaches up. Short slide, does not appear. Galanza, Negrito for the attack. Soltones will roll it over. Coverage by Valdez. Galanza uses the net. Saved by Soltones. Another long rally, but looks like we're going to have a cross here. There you join the Imus called it. Coach Sherwin was going to challenge it anyway. So what's what gives here? Are they gonna call or are they gonna challenge? Bobby Celso says no, it's because they called it. Yeah, the referees called it anyway. Let's look at that again and uh, you, you take us through it, Payal. Russell Tones uh, there definitely crossed the line. Yo, was, uh, all the way to the court of the cream line post matters. Both feet. Yena lang daw. So Tones makes up for that uh, error earlier for that violation. I, I love that she's healthy. Mm -hmm. I am, and you see her fly like she's healthy. Exactly. Uh, all her approach are very explosive. They maintain a two-point lead, eight serving six. The only reason why we always say that we love seeing players happy, of course, obviously we want, you know, we, we, they're our friends, they're your friends, AL, you want them healthy. But other than that, it's you want teams to be at their best when they compete at each other, with each other, and against each other. <laughs> Sato sends it to the net. So Petrogas maintains a two-point lead. Ooh. Contact pa lang. Alam mo na. Lunel Cheng there trying to serve long, but uh, missed contact there. Coach Timmy. In his first run here with the Petrogas Angels inheriting the team from his coach, Coach O, who is in the building, of course. He's here around. <laughs> That's danger. <laughs> and again, uh, whether for Petrogas or for Dreamline, you really can't give an overpass. Uh, all players are very skilled already. Mm -hmm. 
chased by Negrito. De Jesus will send it over for a chance ball. Remy from Cheng. 11 8. Better execution this time in the middle. Again, Cheng keeps on going to Palma every time they get the good first ball. Blockers are way late. Loose ball. Pontillas. Coverage by Sabete. Gretzel from behind. Off the hands and arms of Kyle De Grito. This is a four point lead now. Well, that was a faster transition for the Petrogas Angels. So Con is getting that point from the back row. De Jesus receiving. Gemma on the right pin. And Sabete denies entry on a loose pass. Timeout, Coach Sherwin. No, check that. Technical timeout, 15-8. ever NBA in-season tournament is here. Watch all 30 teams battle it out for the NBA Cup from November 4 to December 9 only on NBA TV Philippines, One Sports, and the Filipinas Live app. Hashtag NBA on Signal. Hashtag always a fan. Back here inside the Phil Sports Arena and it's a five-point lead. And I believe that's the biggest lead of either team here in this match. And this one belongs to the Petrogas Angels. What gave them this lead, I have? No, earlier it was in the first set, it was streamlined serving hard, challenging the first ball of the Petrogas Angels. But uh, right now, it's the Petrogas Angels uh, putting Creamline out of system. Right. Ni Coach Sherwin yung technical timeout. He did not fall. I'm not trusting his girls that they will recover on their own. Kumabao with eight points so far in the match. Chance ball. Chang back to Aiza, single blocker. She doesn't swing at it. Gemma says, I will. But CCC, Aiza, after hindi niya pinalo. And you know that down the line, uh, Gemma Galanza has been going to that, that small gap. Oh, Gemma Galanza still found a way to get that in. Eight points for her too. Barbon, faulty first ball. De Jesus, De Grito, Mitch, fast and low. And this is the reason why Coach Sherwin did not panic on a timeout right away. Negrito relying a lot on her wing attackers. It was Gemma Galanza earlier and uh, Michelle Gumabo in the previous sequence. 10 serving 13. Sapete off the runway. Aiza getting ready. Sapete will try again. Coverage was there. Valdez to Mitch. Three straight points by Dreamline. Oh, 
Michelle Gumabo attacking on top of the blockers, on top of Sabeti there. Sabi nga ni Sabeti, Couldn't do anything about it anymore. 3-0 run. Back to Jonah. Back to Aiza. Panaga. <laughs> and Cheng for the second time. The attackers of Petrogas getting checked a lot. Cheng taking control of the point, targeting zone five. No one there on the side of the cool smashers. Really quick thinking there for Janelle Cheng. Way behind the Jesus. Negrito behind to Michelle. This one is a touch. Sabete really struggling to guard the uh, attack of Michelle Gumabao. Oh, you're right. Right pin. That's where Michelle has been making her money. Aiza rolls it to the other side, not good enough. Gretchel sends it. Eliza! Aiza! Rania! Back to cream line. Negrito! What a dig by Barbon. Negrito again. Miscommunication there, and even here too. Oh, and Aiza touched the net. Barbon struggles to get up. What a grueling rally. We've talked about this earlier, partner. Whoever stays consistent, whoever avoids the small errors, you know, will definitely get this set and get this game. This is a 5-1 run so far by Creamline. Cheng to Gretzel from behind. What a spot to target. That is tough. From the pipe, too. Exactly. A lot of intention in that attack. Really forcing that ball to zone one. Wow. Putting a lot of spin and power to get that point. Not as easy as it looks on TV. Mm -hmm. What a set by Negrito. Boy, she sold that really well, didn't she? And a, an aggressive approach by Isa Sato helped that too. It's a really a luxury for Creamline to have that connection of Negrito and Michelle Gumabao. You can have a camera right on those wrists. The of flick Negrito. of the wrist. Oh, ganda. Double sub. Galanza and Carlos come in for Negrito and Gumabao. Carbon for coverage. Soltones sent back by Sato. Soltones again. Calanza was there. Cheng inside. What happened there, Hell? No, Rania Musa too short for that. A bit low also with that set from Cheng. Musa trying to force, uh, trying to hit deep, deep there. Seven two run. Pinabawe. Kalanza win. The one handed dig. Celebrated <laughs> by the bench, by the players, by the fans. Oh, she's coming clutch. So she continues to serve. Sabete. So that will be a point for Petrogas. 16 all. Here we go again. Tabete gets us going for this rally. De Jesus. The push by Eliza. 
miscommunication. Oh, we're seeing a lot of miscues here on the side of the Pedregas Angels. Musa and Dutra Sultanes and Liza Liza Potilias telling her focus. Tapping her from behind. Casey Galdones was running and was about to come in. A miss hit by Gretzel turns into a point. Well, that pass low set from Cheng works this time. Not the best sets for Sultanes, but Sultanes still found a way to score a point. Musa serves. What a chase by Sabete. Galanza asking for it, but it is Sato who gets it. Run and gun time! Oh, Galanza throwing some connection with Sato here. Look at how aggressive that approach is, Ayel. Exactly. Perfect Front. angle also for her. Uh, short slide, aggressive run. One point lead. Ooh. Another opening that Sultan has found. She puts it away. Sultan is with a lot of power in that attack. Seeing the blockers in the down the line angle going cross court, a sharper one this time. Thoughts from the other end and a scrape by a Petrogaz Angel. Oh, the Angels committing a lot of error here in this set. Another unforced error there. That's Carlos back to the bench. Pafi Galanza, what a job for her. She gets all the appreciation from her teammates there. What a beautiful sight for Green Line. Things that you can only see if you watch live, by the way. These other things that happen in a volleyball match. Gretzel. <laughs> right side, right pin, right bounce. Like that. Yeah, that was actually a great set from Maiso Pontilias. Nine points. Gretzel for defense. Sabete changes her <sighs> approach. She hopped. <laughs> found an opening. Exactly. Really timed that approach well. The set was a bit high for Sabete. Talking about adjusting. Exactly. This is not her usual approach. Here. She hopped a little bit there. There, that's not her usual approach. Really angled that attack. Ooh, but they failed to consolidate with a service error. 20 all. Cannot give points at this juncture. Exactly. Crucial moments here for both teams. 20 all, 1 0 cream line. Bama with a dump. Sabete against Gumabao. Galanza digging. Aiza! What a dig by De Jesus with the left hand. Aiza Ooh. again. The set was low. You know, we've been seeing a lot of low sets from Cheng, but also the spikers trying to attack deep. You know, the reason why it doesn't cross the net. So a service error, and now an attack error, and Creamline has a lead. And Eliza was still talking, the captain was still talking to Bobby Celso when Galanza <laughs> served the ball. Sabi niya, tigil mo niyan, Eliza, laro na tayo. <laughs> that was her way of saying it. <laughs> exactly. But that was trying to talk to the referee <laughs> there. Ah, <laughs> oh, great pick up there by Galanza. Chance ball for the red shirts. That's the play they wanted to run earlier, but it is Sabete who finishes it. Smart attack there from Sabete. 
She's been trying to go cross court, but this time just spinning that ball in zone one. No one there on the side of the cool smashers. You see Galgones, former Tigress, now in for Rania Musa. 21 all. Valdez. That is way out for Isa. Her angle, her body angle already. You can see as soon. But, but she had the right thing in right mind idea. to go to that zone, but again, just too much angle for her. Third crucial error needed to down the stretch. Ayala as Bernadette Bonds comes in to the delight of their fans. <laughs> Player of the game in the first game. Service specialist here. Response there. You need to see it going again. Stubborn. Mm -hmm. Not I giving up. I want to do it. <laughs> Still trying to go to that uh, same zone. This time with a better angle, with a better spin. Be denied. 22 all. Oh! Michelle Gumabo sends it home with authority. Again and again, that connection is indeed deadly for the Cool Smashers. Man, 18 point average, 13 already here in the second set. Or in total, rather, but we are in the second set. That is out. Eliza admits that's a miss hit. 23 all. They're going to challenge this. Why not? Oh, well, that's actually trying to intentionally go for the hands of the blockers there. Challenge, can use it. Call a mini timeout, a pseudo timeout. See what happens. As expected, fail. Always crunch time. Two sets, <laughs> two long sets, and two exciting sets, and down the wire. Missed everyone, unfortunately for Eliza, and fortunately for Petrogas. So they get the point, we are tied at 23. That's still a good call for Greenline, they were able to regroup there. Let's see if Petrogas can get over those last three endgame errors and take this set. Balikay Eliza, Sabete takes it. Sol Torres, what a smart play. Just the right clearance over the hands of the blockers. Uh, earlier, the wing attackers of the Petrogas Angels were using a lot of power. This time, just outsmarting the floor defense of the Cool Smashers. 10 points for her, and a set point for Petrogas. Coach Sherwin there asking for a good first ball, also reminding Sato she's not just a decoy right now, she needs to attack as well. 14 deadlocks, 7 lead changes, and that's not in the match, that is only in the second set. Expected, but all the Cream Line and Petrogas fans expected. 
when these two teams meet. Set point. Goes to Petrogas, and we're all tied up. They survive some errors in the end game and pull off a second set win. We will be back. Streaming experiences also await by the Filipinos Live app. Available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for as low as 149 pesos. We're all tied up. Set number one goes to the Green Line Cool Smashers. Set number two goes to Petrogas Angels. The two teams following the script <laughs> as expected. Tell me about that second set, uh, Aya. Another tight set for both teams. Petroga started strong, but the Creamline Cool Smashers caught up in the 20-point mark. But Maizo Puntillas, Sabete, and uh, Soltones with the smart plays to finish that set. And also getting a uh, few help from the Cool Smashers with crucial errors on their end. Again, we saw a lot of long rallies and definitely familiarity, you know, played a lot in those long rallies in that second set as uh, you see the numbers of, on your screens. 15 attack points for the Petrogas Angels against the 14 of Creamline. A tighter set in terms of attacking from both teams, but Petrogas Angels finally bank on their strength, which is blocking four kill blocks for them against zero of the Creamline Coast Masters. Uh, both teams struggling in the service line, but both teams also trying to challenge the first ball of each other, and uh, both teams uh, tried to minimize their errors here. Nine for Petrogas and six for the Creamline Coast Smashers. Imagine they, they got 10 errors, I believe, in the first set, nine in the second, and they still win. So just imagine if they are able to contain those errors, uh, they probably have, I would, I hate to use the word, but an easier time to win. I mean, nothing's easy, of course, when you're playing Petrogas or Creamline. And we are in set number three. That was our fourth game of our quadruple header. F2 winning against Jer Floor defenders earlier. PLDT also on a roll for themselves. They are 5-1 and one after they win against the Gallery Tower High Risers. Cherry Tigo on their own roll at 5-1. and one, Beating Nextled in exciting four sets. And in uh, two of those sets, they had to come back. 
if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Oh, tama. They lost the first set. Came back in the second. Came back again in the third. And then in the fourth. Pantayana. And, uh... So they get themselves to 5-1, and one, which is where Petrogas wants to be after this match. And this is why it's a crucial game for the Petrogas Angels. They want to secure this win, so not to be part of the really crowded standing right now. We're off. Set three, courtesy of Valdez. Speaking of healthy, we talk about Zoltones and, you know, Valdez too, by the way, who, as we know, has had her recent bouts with some leg injuries. And uh, this is also the first time that Valdez is actually starting Correct. for the Cool Smashers. Looking uh, fresh and sharp. Sharp is for Jonah Sabete. Long ball works for Sabete there. Nine points, six attacks, two blocks, and an ace. A complete game so far for Jonah. What makes her a, an effective blocker too? Why is she at number two in this conference, Ayel? Well, definitely, again, I mentioned earlier, timing is everything in blocking, but also you mentioned it earlier, she has the leaping ability that vertical really is one of her strengths here, not just a defender in the net, but also as an attacker. And then the ability to read, you know? You need to Anticipate. Yeah. Oh, Isis left hand again. 2-1, green line. Right hand, did, did she use her right hand? She used her right hand. But right now we're really seeing a more stable first ball from the Petragas Angels, one department that they really struggled in that first set that they lost against Creamline. Casey Galdones, by the way, starting for Petrogas here in the second. Valdez in the middle. Coverage by Barbon. So fun is from the pipe. And Grito to Valdez for that sharp angle. Great set from the Grito there. Not the strongest of hits, but definitely accurate in terms of the spot that you wanted to go to. Get the cut. Alamo, with Sabete there, I think she was expecting it to be stronger. Exactly. Diba, yung ganung reaction. She tried to do the same thing there, but that ball flies out. We're seeing a lot of uh, cross-court attacks as uh, both players trying to avoid the blockers. Second with Jaime Ascalon right now. Bumenayal, despite a loss set by Queenline, down 13-8, it was Coach Sherwin in a timeout saying, kailangan tuloy-tuloy ang pagsuporta natin sa isa isa. Despite not having a good first ball, he wants them to continue the play for each other. And they end up ended up leading 16-15. to 15. You know, Tots Carlos told me that the reason she improved so much under Queenline, like her reception, when she had a miserable time in UP, dito sa Queenline kasi hindi ka matatakot magkamali kasi eh, power ka lang ng teammates mo. Until you get that confidence, that is for her the cream line culture now continue to watch cream line here on the Filipinas live app for 149 pesos a month Bumenayel throwback <laughs> I yell do you have any I can attest to do that have, do you have any uh, comments uh, but yeah but you know she knows it too mm -hmm. and that's why she worked on it exactly the, the, also the more that she, the more that she got better as an attacker the more that she won those MVPs she also knew that the more that she was going to get targeted exactly. on reception, so she worked on it more. And that's the one department she has uh, tremendously improved uh -huh. through the years, that service reception. out <laughs> UP days, of course. She was your, uh, you were her captain at one point. Were you a third year player when they came in? A second year. You were a second year player when they came in. <laughs> Caldones in the middle. Valdez with a dig. Barbon. 
Great coverage there from the pipe. Sabete rolls it to the other side and it works on an off speed. Liza Valdez couldn't believe it. A great decision there by Sabete. Not forcing oh, a lot of power, just so spinning good. it. Yeah. But she did cock her arm like she was going going for Trying it. To fake it. Mm. Cananza back. Negrito back to Gemma. Change of angle. Soltones. Jesus was there for coverage. Palma. Long rally again. Gemma asking for it. That's why. Targeting the left hand of Remy Palma. Making sure she avoids that hand. Same zone for her. Correct me if I'm wrong, Ayel. Is it the first time I'm seeing Kyla Atienza here? Yes, it was uh, right? Ayla de Jesus, de Jesus earlier. Yeah. So Atienza comes in. and Gumabao shut the door on Gretzel Sultanes. Oh, that was read well by Panaga and Gumabao. They were already there, making sure no gaps in the blocks. Seven, Creamline. Five, Petrogas. It's a good play. Short slide. Also contributing a lot in this game. Six points, five attacks. She has one ace so far. Remy Palma. Jesus is back. Kumaba is also sent back. So far, green line attacking a lot in out of system. That allows Petrogas to be in system in their head defense. Two straight points to tie the match at seven. One all, seven all. <laughs> Galanza all alone at the net. But Nobody flying with her. But also the combination play of the full smashers. Every single time it really works well for them. You can't leave one blocker with Gemma Galanza. She knows her angles. She has a, she has a lot of angles with her. Yeah, and then the role that Panaga plays to pull the other defender. Atienza. Oh, that rolls over on the second ball. So Cheng. Coverage by Sabete. Pitik sa kabila, hindi na gusto ni Aiza. Michelle. Eight seven for Creamline. Oh, Michelle Gumabo is uh, never afraid of her blockers. Always powering through. Open. One on one. Palita the Putos. Nine eight. Cream line. Stays on the side of green line. Part one, able to dig. Isa. Gemma sliding. Michelle scoring. Perfection, she says. <laughs> Great digging by both teams, but uh, Michelle Gumabao, again, really utilizing the hands of Sabete. It's just perfection. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, I think she uh, she likes the set. <laughs> Cheng will chase. Panaga. Ooh. A scratch at the net by Michelle. On the Sabeta swing. But it was a great dig from Panaga. Straight to the arms of Bangs. Ten nine. Cream line still ahead. Okay, 
Alonzo with the first ball. Ooh, a rare tip and dump by Kumabo. You're not gonna see that again for sure. I remember saying, back in her collegiate days, she gets 10 sets, eight of them hampasyan sigurado. It's so rare that you'll see her dip back to the dump. She really swings at the ball. Yeah, she's one of uh, those power hitters. Talking about Michelle Gumaba. So much strength in that swing. Kalansa being targeted again. Bama chases. Oh, miscommunication, Chang and Sultanas were there. Yeah, Chang was uh, trying to signal Sultanas, but also last second letting that go. Eleven mm ten. -hmm. Left handed. And a loose ball. But a loose ball also given to the other side. Cheng will go reverse. And Sabeta will score. And we're tied at 11. Well, Janelle Cheng clearly deceiving Satasanya there. Makes it look easy too, right? Oh, only one blocker for yeah. Sabete. Cheng is so casual in her setting. <laughs> so calm, so composed. Right. Bounces out. 12-11. As usual, Paki says up for the style for both Green Line and Vector Guys. Captain. Captain. Casey asking for it, but it's a Pepe. Set from Cheng, a great approach oh, there by nice. Goldones, keeping Satasan with her. Only one blocker again for Sabete. It's with the hair too, well. So as my book. Mitch. Galanza denied the pickup by Goldones. Galanza yeah. again for the second time. Goldones returned to center. Valdones has been steady for the Petrogas Angels. Pulled in towards the end of the first set, started the second set. Petrogas takes over the lead. ang laban sa pinakabagong sports app na Pilipinas Live. Mapapanood ang PBA Season 48 live in high definition and on demand on any device. Available worldwide. Download and register now for free. The same for, of course, the PVL. You can watch all over the world via the Pilipinas Live app. Watch these two girls go at it. Na nahimik ng konti si Gemma after that, that that first set, Galanza, with six in the first set, two in the second set, two so far here. Gretzel Sotones, the man, we saw three points in the first, and all of a sudden, at seven points in the second, and then a couple of points here in the third. Go, drink up, rehydrate. <laughs> But uh, right now, 
It's Soltones really carrying the load for the Petrogas Angels. 12 on 11 attacks. Miscue on that combination play. Galdones finally gets one and delivers. Second point for KC. Looks like she's in great shape also here for this PVL conference. Saki also a great addition on the side of the Petrogas Angels. Youth also coming in to a, a, a veteran core already. Love the additions that they've made, you know? That one sails out for Jonah. A chance here for the cool smashers to gain some momentum. Swing set it to, and a important set it to the third set. Cheng. That's it again on her 13th point. <laughs> This time, the fast low set, so working well for the Petrogas Angels. You know, in the first set, they were struggling with the setting, especially that they didn't get the good first ball. But this time, Cheng having a better time, an easier time with her playmaking. Good first ball there. Look at that run by Panaga. Delayed by Soltones. Soltones asking for it. Galanza saw that one. So did Isa, but she could not keep it in play. So Negrito will get the point. Kyle Negrito, the great one to play there. Isa Maiza trying to extend, but no go for her. They're so good, both of them. Exactly. But of course, there are some errors. And mostly Petrogas has had more of them in this game, but they still took one set. They still tied a set. They're tied in the third at 15. Palma stayed with Panaga, anticipated that well, went for a double jump, oh, expecting a one-two play. But again, as you mentioned, partner, well-read, Beremi Palma. A second jump, mm. imagine that, <laughs> Rem Palma. Yeah, better executed this time. No, the combination play of the Dream Line Go Smashers, like an automatic point for them every time Gemma Galanza goes to the three target zone one. So Nina, Nina execute Tantama the last time they did it, this time on point. Overpass. One more chance for Creamline. Valdez in front. Two straight points. 17-16. They saw a small gap in the down the line, maximizing that, beating the hands. Wow. Isa Maiso Pontilias. Pakaliit ng pinagdaan nun. Jesus was there. But this will try again. Good hands by Jesus. But one will set to Isa. What a sequence here! Michelle, that's a touch! Scrambling! It's really hard to guard Michelle Gumabao because her approach is not that fast, but every time she contacts that ball, Suddenly, uh, no, it becomes faster. 18-16 is our score. Michelle with 17 big points. Mm -hmm. 
yung humapol. Sinasaan nyo, kailangan yung kamay nyo. Nakikita nyo lagi sa harapan nyo ng diretso. Okay? Hindi lang. Kailangan lang natin ang disiplina sa uh, depensa at saka sa block. Makakuha at makakuha natin yung bola. Nakatapat yung depensa natin ng maayos. Eh. Okay? So yung block lang, wag lang tayo magigil. Ha? Go! Men's volleyball action this 2023, the Spikers Turf Invitational Conference. Every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, One Sports, One Sports Plus, Filipinas Live. Now, Greenline taking over a two point lead. Timmy in the timeout earlier asking for a better blocking formation. Eighteen sixteen. Valdez could not keep it within the parameters of the volleyball court. It bounces out. Exactly. She was on the right spot, but her hands wasn't pressed in. Good timeout by Coach Timmy. Cross court. The Humabal almost unstoppable in this game. Actually, this conference. You know, that's her That's her average. She's right now at her average. She averages 18.4 points a game. She's at 18 points right now. We are at the third set. With a fourth set guaranteed for us here. And there's their own version of a little combination scissor play. And Remy sends it into the donut hole. And those combination plays of both teams uh, really creates those gaps in the blocking and really uh, disrupts uh, the floor defense of the opponent. Takan. <laughs> Takan talaga. Sato will go back to Eliza. Eliza is sent back by Galdones. What about the impact that Casey has made here in this game? Exactly. Not just in offense, but really her net defense has been solid so far. Look at those hands pressed in, really closing that angle of Eliza Valdez. And partner, the other things that hindi maitatali, yung mga aggressive approach niya na nabebenta. Nakakahatak ng blocker. And leaves only one blocker to the wing attacker. Yeah. Valdez. Rem keeps it up. Cheng bump set. Sabete. Negrito. That's too close for Michelle. She doesn't like that. Cheng. Coverage by Galdones. Second ball put away. Sabete taking charge right away with that coverage from Galdones. How about her partner? 15 points for Jonah. Petrogas taking over the lead, 2019. They were down 18-16. Coach Timmy calls a timeout. Four, one, run. Just talking about the floor defense of the Cool Smashers as the Petrogas Angels right now on their roll in terms of offense. The showdown has been as what we expected it to be. And thanks for staying up with us. For those of you who are watching until this very moment, I'm sure DK next you see because we're on for a barn burner. Caldones again. Valdez on top of the blockers. Sabete scores her 16th point, and more importantly, a two-point lead for Petrogas in this swing third. Sabete having the hot hands here. Eight points in this set. Eight of her 16. Half 
Kaufman coming here in the third. We go back to Valdez, faulty. First ball, but Michelle saves them again. Rescues them with a full swing. Double sub coming up. Bucks and nothing. Oh, this double sub worked well earlier in that second set. Quality minutes for both players. Uh, let's see if they can turn things around here in the third set. Nafe was also so good. <laughs> Cheng will bump it. Sabete flies. 17 points. Oh, the Petrogas Angels, especially Sabete, just knows where to go. Seeing the gap, maximizing the gap. That drops out, the serve does. So keeping green line in play here. Woo, crucial error for Nang Aiza. But this will go back to serve. KC with another run. Mafe sends it. To Ate Gemma. Oh! Oh, I thought that was double contact. Oh, Dodge! What a save by Eliza! Jonah! Got that is some kidney visa. Another chance by the red shirts. It is Casey who sends it out! What a scramble! Sabini AL floor defense. Oh, a cream line. Came up big on that one. Oh, but the both teams steady and floor defense there. Look at that scene. The effort, the hustle. And then the miss hit by KC. Barbon will send it to Jonah. Coverage was there. They expected it. Thoughts. Challenge this. Parang may alum galit ayon. Kasi pinanggit daw ni Jaime Escalon. Ano eh? He throw back eh. He throw back mention eh. So, so nanya kalimutan yun. No naman. I'm just kidding. But she's our friend. So. She saw a big gap in the down the line, like Conting Gigel, a lot of aggressiveness in that attack. Conti lang ba? But we saw the antenna move a little. We just didn't know whether whether it was a uh, ball. ball or something else. But this is a good challenge for Petrogas and a crucial one too. Did the ball hit the antenna? Yes, it did. That is sharp challenge for Petrogas. But look at the margin of difference that you have to play with if you're an outside attacker. Oh, boy. What a challenge for Petrogas. What a break for them because now they maintain this lead. 23-22 with Sabete at the service line. Look at those numbers. All around game so far for Jonas Sabete. Mafe chooses thoughts. And thoughts chooses violence. Makes up for the error earlier. Palitan yung bola dahil parang nga na... He punishes the ball. Look at that. Open at the back. This time, a clean strike. 23 all. Gretzel answers back. So it was almost an overpass, but with the height of uh, Janelle Cheng, was still able to set that ball well. Set point, Petrogas. Boy, are we being treated, <laughs> Ayel. Both teams. Substitution, And a very cold Nicole Kianzon coming in to serve. And defend. Crucial serve. A crucial defense. Nicole Tiangson. And she moves out. Valdez receives. Thoughts rolls it. Not all power for Thoughts. And that 
that's it. The job is done for her. She will move out for Kyle. Wow, smarting the defense there. They were anticipating a strong hit from Potts Carlos. That's what Jaime was talking about for those who are watching, you know, Creamline for the first time. That's what Michelle used to do when she was coming off the bench and does it did it effectively too. Sileni Kyle. Okay, and it's Tots and Mafe doing it for Coach Sherwin. And as Ayel pointed out, it's usually at the end of sets, and now we're right there. 24 all, extension time. That's an antenna hit. Gretzo says it's the block first and then the antenna. So they're going to challenge it. Uh, Coach, the team here is going to take the risk of Why not? asking for a challenge. If not, the set point switches to Creamline. A really crucial one here. So definitely the antenna was hit. We just don't know whether it was from the, the kill or from the block. What a game. What an exchange. So many highlights. So many great individual performances on offense and defense. And uh, we mentioned that earlier. It's because uh, both teams with experienced players, both teams with established system and chemistry, it's just a matter of uh, really executing their game plan well. Okay, the technical officials here are are clarifying the challenge. I don't know if they understood what the challenge was. So now, referee Diemus is going to talk to Timmy. So, it's a block touch challenge. Okay, so it's a block touch. So we'll see. Confusion here at this juncture. They need to see whether uh, what hit the. Ayon, kira clarify ni Coach Timmy. Nakikita natin dito, ah, na hindi niyo nakikita po on cam. Timmy is talking to referee Joy Dimos and he said, block touch tapos antena. Yun yung kanilang claim sa challenge. Yung unang tawag ni Bobby Celso is that sa palo ni Gretzel, tumama na sa antena. So uh, it was called out. Yes, that's why it was called out. But there was an antenna hit. But they're trying to decipher here, and I hope they, they're clear on the communication is that Coach Timmy and Petrogas are asking for the challenge of block touch, then antenna. So, one antenna muna. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. So, that should be... Oh no, they're giving it to Captain. They're giving it to Creamline. Creamline point. Captain, game, game, game. I sorry. Game. Ang inahabol kasi ni coach tumama sa kamay bago ang antenna. Okay, that is That is a strange uh, sequence of events coach sure we're talking to us right now. <laughs> sorry coach, we don't understand it either. <laughs> You're saying wala namang block touch. Eh? <laughs> Okay, so cream line point. So the set point is now with cream line. 25-24. Cheng. That's in. They're gonna challenge this. Ball in, ball out. Actually, a risky set from Janelle Chen choosing Remy Palma. That is away from us. The line is away from where me and Ayel are situated, so we're not even going to try to guess on this one. Everybody, the edge of their seats. That's very much it. Here. Remy Palma smiling. <laughs> Mitch. 
Mitch acknowledging. Sige na nga. <laughs> so, one challenge left for Team Line. 25 all in this hotly contested set three. Good reaction there by Petrogas to keep this one alive. Gemma against two. Kyla keeps it up. Chance ball for the red shirts at 25 all. Soltones dug up by Valdez. Calanza blocked by Pontillas. Kumabao shoots. Another antenna touch and another error. And they're going to challenge again for the same challenge. Block touch antenna is what I read Timmy's lips. And Coach Sherwin is in the ear of Mary Joy De Imus. Hotly contested, as we said. In the previous rally, that was a tough set from Janelle Cheng, and we saw Saltones trying to adjust, trying to hit the hands of the blockers to get the point. Coach Sherwin is still talking. He's he's almost like really shouting at the technical table here, maybe because uh, you know music is also very loud. Dinamandail. But well, the cameras are on Petrogas right now, but the action is here in the middle where Coach Sherwin is still with the technical table. Now Eliza has joined the party. The captain, of course. So sure, there. Coach Timmy talking to Eliza Valdez. Come here, ayun yung kaming kasabi ni Eliza Valdez. Timmy and Sherwin now talking to each other, clarifying. Coach Timmy trying to clarify that they still have one challenge yeah. left with them. Right. And Coach Sherwin gives a gesture na, sige na, sige na. Kaya nga in-explain ko sa sinabi, kaya nga tinawag yung captain. So, in-explain ko sa kanya. Gretzel Sotone swipes it, goes to the... So this is what they were also contesting kanina. This one, much clearer. So it hits... It's successful, so that is a point. Hit the hands of uh, Michelle Gumabao, and then it hit the antenna. No, which means uh, last touch, si Michelle Gumabao. Correct. So point goes to the Petrogas Angels. Correct. So a successful challenge. And the Angels now with their own set point. Again, we finally resume play. Galanza, set back. They're going to challenge, I think. Don Sherwin's going to challenge. It's a bit anticlimactic. Petrogas thinks it gets the point. Coach Timmy tells the girls to stay on the court with respect to this Coach Sherwin challenge. Wow. Oh, that uh, combination play earlier worked a lot for them. It did. Probably the reason why Kyle Negrito wanted to execute it again. Gemma, get another deuce. Emma Galanza has 11 points for herself. No, but uh, Rami Palma and Isa Maisa Pontillas. With the read. 
So this third set has not only been extended by points, but extended by the challenges. So again, we thank everyone for staying up with the PVL tonight. No touch. No touch. Which means Petragas takes the set. 27-25. Two sets to one for the Petrogas Angels. Back in a moment. Streaming experiences also await via the Filipinas Live app, available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now. 49 or 149 pesos. You can hear the voice of Eliza Valdez behind us because she's still talking to the technical committee, clarifying of what went down there. There was a lot of confusion, but at the end of it all, after 40 minutes, <laughs> in that third set, 40 minutes in the third set, uh, Petrogas will win it off the the error mm -hmm. and then the put away. Okay, other than that, Ayala, which slowed down our third set, it was an action-packed third set. Tell us what you saw. Uh, very intense uh, third set there. Both teams uh, really with great hustle, with great floor defense, trying to outsmart each other. But the, what worked well for Petragas in that set was uh, definitely their blocking, guarding the right angles, getting the right timings. But uh, Petra, but the Creamline Coast Smashers also tried to challenge them with uh, their attacking. But uh, Petragas here with more attack points, with 18 against the 16 of the Coast Smashers. Both teams trying to slow down each other. Five kill blocks for the Petragas Angels, two for the Coast Smashers. Both teams with a one service ace apiece, and both teams also lessened their error even more this set. Six for the Petragas Angels and three for the Creamline Cool Smashers. All right, so looks like there's, there's going to be changes here as we open up set number four, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, Bernadette Pons might be in play. She came in as a service specialist earlier. Uh, of course, Creamline, uh, you know, I'm sure you don't have to tell them to uh, recover and refocus. They will do that on their own while Petrogas Angels get to rest a little bit, reset. And uh, the substitution by Coach Timmy has worked for Casey Galdones, who has made an impact here. Some of them tangible, some of them intangible. And now Coach Sherwin will blink first and start with Bernadette Pons and Tox Carlos for set number four. Well, some changes here on the side of the full smashers. Uh, so Petragas Angels were checking the offense a lot of the full smashers in the third set. Thank you for watching us on this late night show, hosted by Ayala Sternero. <laughs> My name is Boom Gonzalez. Our special guests, Screamline Cool Smashers and the Petrogas Angels. And of course, Salamat for welcoming us to your homes or to your, into your gadgets and all our viewing platforms on One Sports, One Sports Plus, and the Filipinas Live app. 
singles. 1 0 cream line. Oof. Flat. Kumabao leads green line with 19. Galanza has 11. Valdez has 8. For Petrogas, it is the 17 of Sabete, 16 from Saltones, and Remy Palmas, 11. Those are double figure numbers from three players from both teams. This uh, goes to show that it has been a team effort for both teams. Green line was. Uh, I'm trying to remember who has pushed them so far. That of uh, Farm Fresh had a great game Got against, the set them. against them. Yep. And even in the sets that they won, Farm Fresh was really pushing them. Right now, they're getting a test. They are undefeated. And I'm sure they expected this too. They know uh, Petrogas is as best as they come. A long uh, history of yep. this rivalry in PVL. Including four meetings in the championship level. A net error called there. On the way down. Pangs Panaga really trying to press those hands in. 3-2. Targeting the very cold Bernadette Pons. But Pons responds with offense. Some change of players results to some changes in the attacking style as well. Mm. Pons this time attacking on top of the blockers, going cross court. No coverage on the side of the Petrogas Angels. Long for Isa. Negrito avoids the net. Aiza again. One-handed pickup. Saved by Negrito. High rainbow chance ball for Petrogas. Caldones puts it away on the short slide. Let's toss it over to Jaime Escalon now. City of that last set. One thing I noticed from the veterans of Petregas is they have a, they have this way of managing how to keep things light in the huddle. For example, binibiru nila si Greta Saltones kanina na bawal nga daw siya Otherwise, may minus daw sa allowance niya. And Greta could not stop laughing. That's just an example of how, how to keep things light here in this intense ball game. Now, it's a classic game and you can watch classic games of the PVL here on the Pilipinas Live app for 149 pesos a month. Bumenayal? Buti na lang, wala tayong rule na yan <laughs> sa ating mga <laughs> on-air talents. <laughs> As thoughts, great delivery earlier on the off-speed, but this uh, set, or serve rather, slides to the right. Nagkamali, lagay ka sa ano, jar. <laughs> like a swear jar. Minus. <laughs> like a swear jar. Sabete. Good serve. Bonds on a quick attack. It's not a quick attack, mm -hmm. but it was a fast attack. So far, with the Bonds as a starter here in the fourth set. Pangulati. Really effective on the end of the cool smashers. Five all. Sultones gets the point back. You know what? I have an idea. Diretso na tayo 20 on. Kasi ganun di gagawin ito mga ito eh. First to reach 25 wins. 20 on na tayo pareho. Tapos let's just play for the five points at the end. Because these, they, they're, they're so good. Mm -hmm. Let get it to the putusa natin. Five, five, six, six, seven, and, and seven. And you know, really, it's the familiarity yes. of how the system works, of how Correct. each player works. Pretty much the reason why Galdones is working well for Petrogas. Ponce is working well here for the Cool Smashers. Oh, rally again. Gansa changes it this time. And a hit out. They know each other.
each other well. As teammates, they know each other well as opponents. Mm -hmm. and that's why some of the additions in Goldones and Pons uh, shows really the effectivity of uh, their play because uh, the opponent is not very much familiar of their tendencies yet. Mm. Pots was wise to that Cheng 1-2. But Cheng <laughs> tries again. Oh, that was an overpass already. And Cheng just extending her arms. Tell me my idea was bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> 2020, darating din tayo dyan, Ayan. It might take a while. <laughs> Pero darating tayo dyan. Kalanza, he sent back. Yep. Another great reaction at the net this time. Thoughts sends it out with sheer power. No, but the net... Seven all. Seven all. Kita <laughs> mo? But the net defense of Petraga is working well for them. It's just that it's a matter of pressing the hands because the cream line utilizing those loose blocks right now. Best blocking team in the league. Best attacking team in the league is cream line. One more chance here for Isa. Cuts it. Thoughts. No cut there. Shoot. Soltones squeezes it through the block. 8-7. Oh, again and again, uh, Soltones powering through the blockers. But what a dig from Sabete yeah, there. You're right. Come on, the set from Cheng. Sabete has to do it all woman. Really, the rhythm and the flow of Petragas. Delayed by the block. Sabete asking for it. Left pin. Once. Gemma twists. Cheng. Dito naman kay Aiza. Binigay. Looping ball. Thoughts. No need for a loop there. Oh, this time, Thoughts. Carlos on the left pin. Great set from Negrito going down the line. Oh, Cheng out of position. Gemma sends it low. Oh, and the service errors of the post masters might hurt towards the end of the set. They have to be careful. Nine all is our score. Overpass. And Remy has been targeting Bernadette Pons. Oh, really trying to challenge uh, the steady passing of Bernadette Pons. Caldonis contributes five points off the bench with this gift. Put away. Another one. Left-handed dig. Thoughts adjusts. Finds a way still to squeeze it. The slimmest of margins. It looked like she was going cross court, but decided to go for the hands of Sabete. That is tough. Look at the margin there between the antenna and the left hand of Sabete. Lori Bernardo makes an appearance here for Creamline. What a change up by Coach Sherry and three players now. Four touch. A rare two point lead here in the fourth. Swing set went to Petrogas after all those challenges. So better there. I sell. A great ball control with an off speed. about power, Michelle Gomapo and Tots Carlos. A lot of fire in those attacks. And two very different mm. attackers too. Exactly. Style, technique, mechanics, but both can generate so much velocity. 
And her thoughts even from the serve. Overpass again. And Galdones puts that one away for her sixth point. 12-10. Are they going to challenge this? Yes, they are for a net touch for KC. A couple of gifts already given by the cool smashers to the Petrogas Angels. So now three players have been introduced here in the uh, fourth set. Bernadette Pons, Tots Carlos, of course Tots and uh, I've been in and out for the double sub. Pons came in earlier to, to uh, play service specialist, but now they start the fourth set all together with now Lori Bernardo. And what, if you would guess what Coach Sherwin is thinking, what, what would you, what guess would you have? Oh, well, definitely earlier, uh, the cool smashers were getting checked a lot this time. Now he wants uh, a different style, a different game. As uh, you see this uh, replay of the, the previous sequence earlier. No net touch. Coach Sherwin is unsuccessful on that challenge, but it was worth it. Two-point lead for Petrogas. Sabete will get us going for this rally. Cream line. Gets a point, a free one. Um, both teams struggling in the service line right now. Well, Coach Sherwin may have not won the challenge, but she fro he froze Sabete on that sequence. Parpon with a perfect pass. Perfect coverage too for her. Calanza would not even risk going over the boards then for that one. Strong swing by Soltones produces the 13th point here in the fourth set. You're still watching the PVL All Filipino Conference from setter to sometimes scorer. Janelle Chang elaborates on her scoring skills in this V Quick. Um, sure, sobrang saya kasi nahati po yung pagod nila na hindi sila sobrang pagod na nakakatulong ako sa points bit. Kung mahal point ako, big help na rin yun sa kanila. So sure, po, sila pa rin yung main attack. Well, both setters uh, offensive-minded tonight. Three points for both Negrito and Cheng when they've had the opportunity. Right now, it is Petrogas with the lead after this technical timeout. We resume play. Boom Gonzalez, El Estanero, you just saw Jaime Escalon, our third member of our coverage team, on the fourth game on this Thursday evening. Caldones will do the honors for this rally. Galanza trying to go for the swipe. Remy two, Jonah diving. Chance ball for Greenland. Combination again to Gemma. And nevertheless, it would be a point anyway. 
Again, the combination play always works for them. Only one blocker in front of Galanza. Very Palma, yeah. Also scraping the net there. Guilty of that one. Mm. Nevertheless, that point would have been for Gemma anyway. Oh, what a swing. Oh, Bernardo solid on the dig. Great reflexes there by Pons. Sultones did not go for the swing. Chance ball. Gretzel asking for it on a loose ball. Oh, what a cut! What a cut! Unbelievable shot making by Gretzel Sultones as a rescue shot, Ayel. Really showing her athleticism there. Look at that. Oh, boy. Really avoiding the blockers. Frontline kill via the cut shot. Money beast. Panaga puts it away. Good response. 13 will be serving 14. Uh, better activation this time in the middle for the cool smashers. The Grito saw that. Jump set. By De Jesus. The thoughts hammers it away. Carlos with eight points, just like that. Eight points. Doesn't need to look for the gaps there, going for the hands of the blockers. The MVPs do. They produce. <laughs> Service ace. And Creamline takes over the lead. of momentum here all throughout this game. Cal Negrito going straight, targeting Sabete. Just actually out of position there. Uses the net that time. Gretzel. It's just instinct by Isa. Making sure that uh, she beats the blockers there. The rebound off the bounce. 15 on. Oh, definitely antenna there. So Petrogas takes the lead this time, 16-15. My idea is not sounding so bad right now. <laughs> yeah, right? We're almost in the 20th uh, 20, 20. mark. <laughs> Doesn't sound so silly after all. <laughs> Thoughts dug up. Cheng was there, saves it. Sabete goes long. Ooh, that's too tight. Good reaction by both. So Tonish from the pipe. Talks again. Kaloy delivers. Talks Carlos from the right pin this time, from the left pin. Powering through the blockers. Nine points. And because she's rested, she's got a lot of energy here to swing away. Combination. That's out for Remy. And Green Line takes over the lead this time. It was actually a great play, but too much handle for Remy Palma. Sabete will receive. Bumalo will score. A great flow there from Sabete. From the first ball with a perfect pass. Uh, Cheng uh, going to her. Seeing the big gap. Doing cross court to get that point. Palma targets Pons again. 
She continues to target Bernadette Ponce, and her gamble is paying off. They take the lead again. They're really trying to destroy the confidence of yeah. Ponce in the first ball because we know, you know Bernadette Ponce to be a stable passer also. Eighteen seventeen. Palma waiting to clear. Bobby Celso gives the signal. Bernadette waiting. Will she be the target again? Yes, she is. Thoughts from the other side. How many times have we seen that? Not only today, but that really she has developed. And great decision also for Negrito to Go for that reverse set to Tots Carlos because Tots Carlos right now really has the hot hands on the side of the cool smashers. Umatras yung depensa knowing that she was going to strike. Namigay, 19-18. Could be a crucial one there for the cool smashers. Look at this, Chisayat will get some action on a double sub. Marion Puitre will come in. Cheng, who is huffing and puffing right now, she is tired. Isa Maisa Pontilias will go to the bench. Cheng has been chasing a lot yeah. this game. Some former UP players have shown up here today. <laughs> Syed cold off the bench. Thoughts does not roll this one. Again and again. 19 points. Or sorry, 19 all. And for Tots, Carlos, 11 points off the bench. Oh, but also that reverse set is the threat of Negrito. So Bete receiving. Right pin attack. Negrito was there. De Jesus will send it to Tots. Chance ball. Buitre on the other side waiting. Confusion here. Sabete sent back. Syed back to Jonah. Jesus with a dig. Thoughts from behind. That is in. It scratches the line. Thoughts, Carlos, unstoppable in this set. Long hit. 12 points, and more importantly, she will serve again with the lead. Double sub not working for Coach Timmy here. Because Carlos continues to outsmart the defense. Sabete on her strong side. De Jesus with a dig. Pawns with a counter. She shoots it to the other side. Thoughts was ready for coverage. Points again. Seen again. Oh, Bernadette Pons saw that hole, maximized that hole, so Ton is letting that go last second. Three point run by Dreamline. Watch the PBA 3x3 second conference this year every Monday and Tuesday. What sports? PBA Rush and Filipinas Live. PBA 3x3 Lakas. Nagtatlo. Fourth set. AL. 13 deadlocks, six lead changes. I wasn't so off. 2020 <laughs> was my prediction. 2119. Well, this really goes to show. We'll have a chat with Sherwin Malonzo. Where is he? <laughs> our uh, tournament uh, director? <laughs> the thoughts continues to serve. A 3 0 run. A really great uh, ah, volleyball yeah. here. Great, great competition. High level. 
two champion teams. So Bete will continue to be fed. Hits the antenna. And sabi ni Timmy this time, nauna, nauna. Meaning, nauna tinamaan yung antenna before the block touch. This time, no challenge. And a three-point lead feels like a six-point lead the way this game has gone on. And that's Carlos continues to serve here. Pagpon. Pinabawi. Loose ball. Chance ball. And Bernadette Potts puts it away. Oh, Bernadette Pons and Dots Carlos has been the bright spots of the pool smashers in this set. 5-0 run. And the gamble, well, I don't know if I can turn it as a gamble, of Coach Sherwin putting Bernadette and Thoughts definitely paying off. Casey in the middle. Oh, what a dive by Gemma! Oof. No way! Set point on a highlight reel. Defense to offense. Carlos really uh, holding that approach well. Matagal-tagal na ang nakapwesto si Tots dyan sa service. And a chance to go for it. And we are going to a fifth. Grito to Bernadette Pons, and that this time going cross court. Barbon not ready for that. And Petrogas not ready for thoughts and Bernadette assault. 7 0 run to end the fourth. Streaming experiences also await via the Filipinas Live app, available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for as low as 149 pesos. You know, there's a term lagi ginagamit sa volleyball. Uh, ayan, na kapit, kapit, kapit. Mm. So, pasalamatan natin lahat ng mga manonood na kumakapit <laughs> sa atin dito dahil hindi naman sila nagsisisi because, again, this is what we expected. And I'm wondering, when Dreamline and Petrogas knew about the day, what they think about the night before, because alam mo na that this is how it's going to be. You know, but uh, clearly both teams came in prepared in today's game. A lot of great exchanges, uh, both in defense and offense, but really the adjustment of putting in thoughts, Carlos, Bernadette Pons, um, and even Lu um, Lori Bernardo uh, in that set was very effective, and that really has started to look disorganized trying to figure out the tendencies of these attackers as a cream line dominating in that attack department with 20 against the 11 of the Petrogas Angels. Both teams with no kill blocks but both teams also doing well in the service line. A couple of errors in the service line as well. Two apiece in service aces but a cream line even committing more errors in that set with six against the three of the Petrogas Angels. Strangely enough 
the only set that Petrogas had lesser errors than Dreamline was the set that they lost here in the fourth. Of course, they also lost the first, by the way. Dreamline winning the second. Oh, sorry. Dreamline winning the first set. Petrogas winning the second and third. Dreamline in the fourth. So, we are going to our speed round. The fifth set. First to 15. And thoughts will remain on the floor with Bernadette Pons. And as we always say, and as, as I always believe, you can second guess whatever, you can make your presumptions, you can make your speculations, but nobody knows the team like the coaches do. And spend, as you know, I have the most amount of time and training, off training. Exactly. They know the team in and out. They know what to do. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. That's, That's always a risk. Yeah. But you just got to be always prepared and ready. Um, Petrogas seemed to have momentum earlier. Let's see if they can snatch it back. Woo! Complete miss hit by Todd Carlos there. I think she took off way too early for that one. And uh, she knew it, so she decided to go for the hands of Remy Palma. But uh, no go there for Todd Carlos. In the meantime, Cheng is back, obviously. And uh, for uh, Petrogas Angels. That's a check. Did they just wrap the leg of Janelle Cheng, or did I not notice that earlier? I'm also not sure. I don't know. I don't know. But we saw her limping earlier going out of the court. And really breathing hard, too. Good slide there by Kyle. Good save there by both Gemma and Ella. One more for Remy. Oh, power tip. A faster transition this time to the Petragas Angels. Oh, Chen saw. But the two blockers were late. There was a gap setting up Remy Palma there. The pass right on top of the net. Perfect for Remy. For Palma, she's got 13 points of her own. What is there to be said still? <laughs> about this multiple MVP. Always stepping player. up when needed. Game changer, Todd Carlos. And even since we're talking about the UP days, even if back then she already had power, they already knew she was an athlete, but just the development of her overall game, just incredible. Speaking of, Jaime, let's go back to him. Coming into the fifth set, all six players of Cream Line on the floor right now closed their eyes and meditated. And Coach Sherwin broke the huddle by saying, Magtulungan kayo, mag receive, at mag enjoy. Let's see what Cream Line has store for us in this fifth set thriller as the plot thickens in this prime time PBL rivalry, which you can watch in the Filipinas Live app for 149 pesos a month. Bumeneel. And the guy who taught them to do that, who started that, is right behind their bench, Coach Tai Bundit. Right there behind. I also see Coach Roger Goreyeb here in attendance. Jean Boali is also in attendance. A BVL reinforcement superstar. One more for Aita. One point lead. Well, that was the same attacking style she wanted to do. Successful in that second attempt. As I mentioned, Tai, who was there actually with Tony Liao and uh, Roger Gorev, right on the right side, Jiang Bo Li. One of the most bemedaled and most awarded reinforcements the PVL has ever seen. He was also tied to coach Roger Gorev a lot of times. In the meantime, Bernadette Pons tips it through. It gives them a two-point lead, 5-3. It has been Bernadette Pons and Todd Carlos producing majority of the points here in this end stretch of the match. 
Carlos. That's Carlos, who served a ton on that 7-0 run to end the fourth. KC sent back. Jonah. Oh! Jonah Sabebe with her 20th point of the match. She's trying to go down the line a lot earlier. But this time, she's in cross court, going sharp, avoiding the hands of Bernardo. Averaging 8.8 .8 in this PVL conference. She has 20 across her name tonight. timing to set up Lori Bernardo there. The chance of Lori. Not anticipated well with the Petragas Angels. Dila mo pasa yung laro eh. Because they don't see her play. <laughs> a left-handed middle there. Left-handed middle, that's a great point, Ayo. In the meantime, this is the biggest lead now. Not only in the fifth, but in a long time. Since the end of the fourth, nung bumuka yung laro. What's happening here uh, uh, for Petrogas? Uh, are they losing steam? Are they losing composure? What, what is your interpretation? No, a lot of uh, their errors in that fourth set were miscues, and right now they're also committing a lot of miscues and even an attack error here from uh, Sotonis. A huge four point lead. And another antenna touch, and a timeout will be called by Coach Timmy. Creamline looking to remain unbeaten. Very technical time out there from Coach Timmy. Some uh, specific instructions also for Cheng. And actually more instructions when the mic was off already away from them. And Timmy recognized that, went back to Ate Cheng as they call her and talked to her even more with some more instructions. And Cheng apologizing to Gretzel. Gretzel says it's okay, we move on. Better set for Gretzel, but just coverage there. They're gonna challenge here. A Is it a Florida? What what are they challenging here? Football. A football. Right now, really the momentum is on the side of the uh, oh, yeah. smashers. No doubt about it. And the chance of Lori. Sagabot ba kay ni Lori? In yes, UP? for a year or two. Yeah. I don't know for Lori, there's really a specific set for her. Mm -hmm. Because it, it's very unusual for... <laughs> very unusual for a middle to be a lefty. <laughs> Kaya ang hirap timing an sa blocking. No, not just uh, to time it, also where to, to position ah, yourself ah, yeah, to true. block her. Ooh, sharp challenge by Sherwin. Cheng will move out. I don't know if she's gassed or also affected by that leg. Apparent leg, uh, I don't I don't want to call it an injury, but a concern with the wrap. 
So now they're going to go with cheap. They're down five. Petrogas unraveling here <laughs> in the fifth set. Instant impact there. The Good captain. Side. Yeah, Captain Cheat. Now it's her turn. No, didn't force to set that ball. Decided to go for a one-two play. Perfect spot for her. Down four. Gemma. She will bump it. How about a slide by Atienza? Gemma again! Denied at the net. A lot of power in that attack. How crazy, how crazy is this, AL? The first three and a half sets, Michelle Gumabao leading everybody with 19 points. We have not seen her since then. And then Tots comes in with 15 points of her own. Oh, a really deep bench for the cool <laughs> smashers. Sultana sent back. Matt bounces in. So it's back to a four-point lead. Isaac Maiza Pontilias a bit frustrated uh, there as no, last second letting that go. She was already there, but expecting it to go out. Uh, drops on the line. And the boss is having a coach. When in doubt, Kuri Oh, what a bomb there. Gretzel Sultanis, not done swinging. She's got 22 points for herself on 20 attacks. An ace and a block. You know what she's capable of every time she gets that good set. Oh, this is not yet done. There's only a three-point lead. Five points away, although the window is closing. On Petrogas. Triple block. Jonah from the pipe. Gemma will try again. Well, welcome back to Magalaza. 14 points for her now. And four points away from a win. Uh, she knew she was guarded well. Did not force to power through. Just used the hands of Maiza Pontilias to get that point. What a match. <laughs> Remy sends it over, but not good enough. Back set to Tots. Gretzel goes long, and it hits the hand of Bernadette Ponce, which was sailing out already, I believe. She knew it too. Last second, she extended that arm. Was it sure? I also wonder if it hit the, one of the fingers of Bang Spanaga also. But nevertheless, it's a point for Petrogas. Eight serving, 11. Gemma on the right side. But one will send it over to Jonah, who is not done yet. Jonah, when she flies, she gives it a hundred percent. Full effort. Explosive approach yes. there. You yes. can't leave that space for the cross court attack. That's their strength there. Down to two. Another uh, technical time out there from Coach Sherwin uh, giving specific offensive strategy. Because uh, right now, momentum is on the side of the Petrogas Angels, and they would want to stop that at this point. I said it's not over. 10-6 was our score earlier. All this received. And Petrogas is going to get a chance ball here. What will she side do? Isa, what a smart, smart approach. Oh, not the 
best set for Isa Maiso Quintillas. A bit low for her. But again, some vet moves there. You know what, Paran? And all of a sudden, just when you think Cream Line's gonna run away with it, Petrogas is back in it. Barbon, Isa, Negrito, Atienza to Galanza, squeezing it through the block. Maintaining control of the set, 12-10. Oh, that a small gap in between oh, the blockers. Boy. Lanza still found the way. Oh boy. Mas, mas, mas stressful manood. <laughs> <laughs> what a set by Chi. But what coverage by Creamline! At the net, that is. Thirteen ten. Oh, well read by Bernadette Pons and Pangs Panaga. Pangs Panaga knew, automatically went to that left pin. That first ball was very tight then, kasi for Chi. Jonah. You know what's going to be sad about this uh, match? Other than there's going to be a loser, it's that some individual performances of the losing team will also go down the drain. And when you look at the stat sheet, the scoreboard right now, with Valdez, Kumabao, Carlos, Galanza scoring heavily, and then Soltones, Pontillas, Palma, Sabete on the other hand, all the double figures, all, couple of them over 20. But that's how sports is, Talaga, it is Painful, just like that serve. And guess who's coming back for Greenline? A supposedly cold Eliza Valdez, but a girl who's been in this situation a trillion times as Jonas Sabet is being worked on now. That's the unfortunate sight after all that she's done today. Match point. Isa saves one. Sabete, by the way, partner, 22 points, 18 attacks, two blocks, two aces. That's all the effort of Jonah. But Petroga still not done here. Cannot afford an error. Two straight points, some pressure. is going to be very important here. 13 serving 14. Kyle to touch and touch. Keeps Greenline undefeated in the PVL All-Filipino Conference. Carlos continues to be the impact player and the game changer as Kyle Negrito goes to her for this final point. 16 points off the bench. What a player and what a game. What a game, partner. Incredible performances on both ends, both by Bench players and starters. Exactly. Casey Galdones, Kendarin Linaro. Para sa kabila, ano? Off the bench, Tots and Lori. Perda that Ponce naman para sa cream line. And by the way, you can all relive this game and all BBL games anytime, anywhere on the Filipinas Live app. Available for Filipinos everywhere. Download and subscribe now for 149 pesos. You were about to say, part. Well, we talked about it earlier. Whoever will execute better will get this game. But both teams executed well. Both teams hustling in defense. Oh. Both teams trying to outsmart each other. But it really boiled down to those small errors, the crucial errors and the small details towards the end of the game. We hope that Jonas Sabete is okay. 
because what a Herculean effort by her and by some of her teammates like Pontillas, Palma, and Sultones. But the spoils go to the winner, the Cream Line Cool Smashers, Jaime Escalon with the player of the match. Boom and AL with me right now is our best player of the game, Tots Carlos, with 16 attack points. First of all, Tots, congratulations. Grabe yung pagchag mo ng tubig kanina dyan. Sobrang pagod. Tell me the, the intensity of this five set games against your rivals in Petrogas. Um, well, uh, it was not a really, really easy game for us. Kasi yun nga, we came from behind. And, um, Honestly, I'm just really happy that I was able to play and we we won the game and and <coughs> sorry, na mamalat na ako kasi kakasigaw. Anyway, yun lang. Uh, we're just really happy that we won the game and yun. So, speaking of sigawa, ah, grabe yung sigaw mo nung minajik bunot si Lori Bernardo. So, parang sobra iba yung energy mo iba yung sayo. Talk to me about yung performance ni Lori as a magic bunot for today's game. Uh, of Lori kasi hindi rin mag, naging madali yung naging journey niya with the team uh, given the change of positions and all. And we're just really happy na ganun kasi yung culture ng team eh, na masaya lang kami na sineselebrate namin yung bawat isa and masaya kami para kay Lori kasi ang ganda ng nilaro niya today. Down two sets to one, saan nyo nahugot yung energy nga na pinapag-usapan nyo? talaga yung game na may mga times na mawawalan talaga ng energy and you just really have to go through it and find your rhythm again and you know uh, just just fight and enjoy the game we're just really happy actually na naglalaro kami kami kanina alam mo mga tao dito medyo past their bedtime na eh sumusuporta pa rin may mag gusto ka bang batiin sa laro ito um hello sa family ko sa Pampanga uh, hello Sergio Sir Alan, Ma'am Liz, sa lahat po ng bumubuo ng uh, cream line ng Rebisco Management, maraming maraming salamat po sa mga sumusuporta sa amin. Lalo na po yung mga nandito na talagang super late na at talagang nagstay po kayo, tinapos nyo po yung game. Four games today and we're really happy na andito po kayong lahat sinusuportahan yung PVL. And there you have it, Tots Carlos, our best player of the game, which you can watch on Filipinas Live fan stream right after this. Boom and yell. Talaga, Tots, late na ba? <laughs> di, di, di namin napansin. Eh. Late na pala. Kasi napakaganda nung laro. Saka, konting side note lang before we we saw Jonas Abete on her own walk uh, to the locker room uh, without any assistance. So that's a good sign that she uh, that's everything's okay. Hopefully, uh, she rests it off and she'll be good to go for their next game because they're going to need her. Why? Because Petrogas now with a two-game losing streak right there stacked in the middle. But uh, again, uh, Creamline continues to embody that winning mindset, 5-0 for them. It's uh, a very crowded standing we have with PLDT, Charitigo, uh, Chocomucho, Petrogas, Signal, and Ecto Logistics. Uh, Akari uh, still fighting for that uh, final four slot. And again, games are going to get even more crucial oh, yeah. as only, again, four teams will move forward to the semifinals. Not only are they going to be more crucial, they're going to get better in terms of the quality. Uh, and uh, so you, you, if you haven't watched the games live yet, must come over on the 11th. And look at that. Look at that schedule. Signal and Petrogas in the first game. Akari and Chocomucho in the second game. PLDT and Cherry Tigo in the third game. That's just uh, that's a crazy schedule. That's on Saturday and uh, here at the Phil Sports Arena. So please come over live. If you can't, of course, there is one sports. There is One Sports Plus, and there is the Filipinas live app. It has been an intense and crazy day here at the Phil Sports Arena for this four-game set, and we're happy to have you with us. For Jaime Escalon, Ayala Sonero, I'm Boom Gonzalez. We'll see you next time for the Premier Volleyball League's second All-Filipino Conference on Filipinas Live.